Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today we have a brand new 2023 3740 Bunkhouse from Solitude. This thing is awesome. All the space inside, all the space outside. We'll get you around. We'll see what you guys think. I like to start up front with a really nice big fiberglass front cap. As you can see, it wraps around the corner. So the seals are gonna be here kind of connecting everything here. So it'll help you going down the road to keep the water out of it. Rhino box on it. Got a lot of storage up front. We will throw one brand new battery on board. It does have a spot for two batteries. A lot of extra space in here. This does have the six point auto level uh, system on it. So just push a button, walk away, have that all set up. You also have two 30 pound LP tanks that are gonna be on board that we're gonna fill for you here, bullion part of the deal. Look at this water station, everything's all inside. Easy diagram to set it up. You got hot and cold shower out here. You got your low point drains right down here. You got your tank pulls. You got your spot to run all your hoses up right through it and keep the door closed. Cable, satellite, power, all inside. Auto level right there. Pass through storage. You got some lights in here too. Little push puck lights in there. Uh, when we get around to the other side, your pressure, tire pressure uh, link system is in there as well. We can kind of talk about that. On demand Furion hot water heater on this unit. You also have your uh, 50 amp service and a black tank flush all in one convenient location. The back side, you got three slides on this unit, so just think about how it's gonna open it all up in there for you. Coming around the back side of the solitude. If you wanted to, you are set up, depending on uh, length restrictions or things like that, but you are set up to have a small little trailer back here, maybe a little boat. Also prepped for a backup camera up top. And you got a ladder on board to get you up to the roof to check your seals, check the top of your slides, see what's going on up there. So one less thing you got to carry around. A lot of people like to use these two to maybe connect something to them, bungee some stuff, strap some stuff to the ladder, an extra little spot to carry stuff. Look at this outdoor kitchen. I like it. I mean, I'm a shorter guy, five foot eight, five foot nine if I wear the right shoes, but uh, you could probably get under here if you're maybe close to six feet, give you a little extension of the awning. But this outdoor kitchen is amazing. You got a nice flat top grill, a really big fridge with the clear glass door to see when you need to refill it. You don't ever open the door and find out that somebody else took the last one. Really nice storage out here as well. A lot of cabinets. You wanna add a TV, you got your cable satellite, you got plugins, the counter space, you got your sink, you got lights out here. Um, on top of them. I don't know if you can see that with the light. Uh, the sunshine, I mean, it's a beautiful day in Duluth. Finally, we see a day start with a six, 60 something degrees out today. So we're gonna take it. You have a second bathroom that's gonna be back in this bunkhouse. So you have a half bath back here. Stairs bring you right up into it. This is great for the kids, great for your guests. Right in, right out. You're not tracking through the camper. Porcelain stool, high ceilings. Uh, storage door, really perfect space right here, right outside. Also, we are a little close, but you can see the awning coming off the slide box. So that's gonna give you a lot of extra shade and protection out here with LED lights under it. Rockford Fosgate, marine grade, nice upgrade on the speakers. Um, if you guys like speakers or if you know anything about the speakers, the Rockford Fosgate is a really solid speaker for you, really great sound quality. And I like how they're low. You know, you're always sitting down on your camp chairs and standing here. A lot of people are putting their speakers way up top where you gotta blast it, keep them nice down low. Get your music right here for you. Coming around on the other side of the storage bay, you got a motion light on this side that's gonna get you. Your battery disconnect, here's that tire link system. You got your aluminum frame construction, forced air heat coming into here, so you got a nice heated box. Uh, drop frame construction, give you more storage. And then you also whoop, have this easy access panel to your water station back there. So if anything's got going on, 
you got the easy access panel to get in there. Like I said, we are here in Duluth, Minnesota, right next to the uh, military base. So you're gonna hear the jets going over. It's almost a daily occurrence for us. It's pretty sweet, so bear with us. They'll fly over real fast and we'll get you going back inside. Solid step stairs to bring you in. Uh, before we forget, right behind the door, you got power, you got a spray port uh, with the bunkhouse. So if you got kids, dogs, anything like that, you can spray them off before you head inside. Slam latch baggage doors on these rigs, which are awesome. You got the, the solitude, fully laminated sidewalls, which is amazing. That heat and cool air in there. All right. We'll kind of head up and we'll head in the back this way. The island space and the counter space in this rig is amazing. I like all the space next to the kitchen here. The nice window on this side to keep a lookout on here. Good island space, like I said. Uh, kind of got the dual basin sink feel to it, but with the one big basin sink uh, capability, which is really nice. Three burner cooktop, really nice size, decent oven in here. And then same thing with the microwave. You got a really nice big convection microwave. Double door fridge. And then you got the double door freezer. So you can call it the his and hers, the dilly bars, and whatever else you got going on in the bottom drawer, uh, frozen pizzas, things like that. You got the double drawer there. Your little pantry section over here. So you got a nice light in the pantry. You can stack all the goods in there. A nice little countertop, so maybe like a catch-all when you come in, keys, maybe put a coffee pot here, a little crock pot out of the way, something that's going to be cooking all day, just kind of keep it out of the way. A nice little storage section here with these little shelves to kind of organize things throughout. Really nice cabinets up above. And then also right when you walk in is going to be your control system, so your slides, your awnings, check your tanks, your batteries, your tank heaters, all that stuff's gonna be right here. Max air fan for the kitchen is gonna be controlled here along with the AC that's in this room as well. If you notice, in the floor, you're gonna have uh, no heat ducts that are in the floor, so a nice solid floor. So again, with the kids or pets, you're not going to get any dirt, grime, Legos, anything like that falling into the heat vents. Going to keep it nice and clean in here for you. Also keep it a nice solid floor. Theater seats that are going to give you a heat, massage, recline, kickback that's right across from the TV and the fireplace over there. Um, so a nice kind of section to kind of hang out here with all these big beautiful windows that are a little tinted to help keep the sun out. They are also got like the blackout curtains, nice easy pull down, slow release, really like that. Got an extra little hidden snack drawer on some of these chairs here at the freestanding dinette, which is gonna be really nice. And then we'll swing. This bunkhouse is amazing. You got a nice little couch that we'll pull out to a sleeper. Another sleeper up top here. You know, another little like L-shaped sleeper here and down here. So, I mean, you could fit two, three, four, five, six, six people back in this bunkhouse. And I'm saying six, probably adults too, you know. So, it's, you know, not just kids. You can fit really a, a nice crew back here. It has its own AC back here, so if you are tucking it full of people, you got your AC back here, spot for a TV. Look at the wardrobe space in here, all these drawers, which is awesome. And then even under this bunk, whoop, let's silence that. Right, um, under this bunk, you got this 
Um, you know, maybe if you have pets, you can almost take that little bungee thing off. Maybe throw a little pet bed under there if you got some littler dogs or something like that. That'd be a great space for that. Or just a nice little storage section there. Like I said, so here's that other half bath. Nice small little sink, porcelain stool. And then here, if you want, I'll take this quick and kind of show you. You do have a really big extra storage, so a lot of extra towels or things like that if you wanted to hold it in there. Um, that's a really nice spot for that too. A fan in the bathroom to kind of eliminate some of the smells and things like that in there or bring in some fresh air. I'm gonna be really liking that. But yeah, I mean, this thing is just beautiful. We'll bring you upstairs, head up the stairs. You do have a motion light on the stairs. So at night, if you're walking around, you're gonna have a light there. Um, the bathroom, I kinda wanna we'll shut some of these lights off. You have a fan in here. We'll turn this one. I haven't seen this yet. That's a cool, nice little thing. If you take like a little nighttime shower, you throw that light on, kind of a neat little feature. You got all the lights, medicine cabinet, spot to hang towels right in here. Uh, another porcelain toilet in here. I like that this shower kind of has a little tub-esque look to it. If you were to plug the drain, you could put littles in here, uh, but it does drop down. So it gives you taller folks a little more room up in the shower. The shower head's got, you know, the removable spray handle, um, little soap tray. So kind of cool little features. I don't, I mean, for ladies, put your legs on here, shave your legs, a little step up. That's kind of cool if that's the thing you do. Also, this has a pocket door, so you don't have to worry about swinging it open to anybody. Nice little use of space there with that pocket door. I really like that. Up into the bedroom, third and final AC. Love that. So every room is going to have its own AC and its own thermostat. So you can set them all individually, which is going to be awesome. King size bed in this unit. So it's a little tight against the wall, but gives you all that bed space. And then a ton of uh, storage under it as well. It does tuck back under there, so maybe you can put some extra folding chairs or things under there. Stuff you might not be using all the time, but you want with you. And again, even up here in the bedroom, the heat ducts are coming up like out of the wall and stuff. So they're not in the floor, even up in the bedroom. Really nice uh, dresser with a lot of really good drawers. And if you haven't been in a solitude, you really need to get in one if you're looking to just feel the the quality and the craftsmanship of these doors i mean just the smooth gliding the real solid wood just really just real quality built uh, unit right now really big closet if you wanted to it is prepped for a washer and dryer so let's see if we can pop this up out of the way so you got the hookups in here for a stackable washer and dryer Otherwise, you can have just one really big wardrobe space. Into the closet. I'm a shoe guy. I love shoes. I love the look of this. Putting all your shoes in here, all your hanging clothes, spot on the ground, shelves on the side. I mean, this is just an awesome setup for the closet in the cap. Um, I also want you to kind of notice that I can almost walk into the closet you know sometimes with the fifth wheels they have that little bump up here so you can't really get in it's almost like a walk-in closet feel to it little nightstands and windows that both open on either side of the bed as well there is power and usb on both sides um, you know, with the longer cords, you could put your cell phone or something here, or run it over, uh, maybe on the ground, you know, they're not in the most convenient location, but they're there for you, which is nice. Sometimes you got to pick and choose of where things are going to go. And I like that they at least put them in here for you and didn't just eliminate them. So I know there's a lot going on in this rig. Um, short video here, we wanna get over to you. But again, my name is Kyle Dimon. I'm here with Bullion RV. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We wanna build our channel. We wanna get these videos to you as fast as we can um, and just kind of get the word out there. So give us a call, let me know how you can help. 218-740-4964.
Have a great day.